Many of you spend a lot of time creating and updating your GIS data. ArcGIS 9.4, we're developing innovative ways to simplify editing tasks to help you get your work done faster. ArcGIS 9.4 uses a simple graphical approach to creating features. Here, I have a window containing all the available types of features that I can create. To create features, I just pick a symbol from the list and start drawing on the map. It's really that simple. Now, if we look at the properties of a template, we'll see that it defines things like the name, the default tool used to create the feature, the layer in which the feature will be stored, how it will be symbolized, and any default attributes. Snapping is an important component in many editing operations. ArcGIS 9.4 uses a simple snapping environment that is always available, is fast and responsive, and provides graphical feedback so I always know exactly what I'm snapping to. We're also working on improving selection. You may have a map with many layers and many features at a given location. When I click on the map and expand the chip, I see all the selectable features at that location, and I can select just the one I want. We're also improving how the editor works with layers. Here, my hydrants layer contains numerous fields, only some of which I need for editing. By setting field order, field visibility, and field access properties, I can tailor this information to help me complete my attribution editing tasks more efficiently. We're also making the tasks you use and the tools you use much easier. For example, splitting a polygon. Using the Cut Polygons tool, I'll define the first point that I'm going to use to split my polygon, switch to tracing, and finish my edit. <laughs> We're also improving how you update the shapes of existing features. I can easily add, delete, and move vertices until I achieve the desired result. <laughs> Using the mini toolbar, which provides quick access to tools right where I'm working, I can reshape this building using only right angles. Let's take a look at a different map containing information regarding bird sightings. Before I get started, I need to create templates. To create templates, I need to specify the layer that I want to edit. And templates are generated for me automatically based on my layer symbology. And now I can start adding content to my map. As a wildlife biologist, the number of rare bird settings in this area suggests it may need to be protected. I'll just click on a symbol and sketch out a proposed wildlife reserve that encompasses this area. These same templates that I created using ArcGIS Desktop can also be used inside ArcGIS Server. And this same type of information can be captured on the web, which allows me to gather input from a wide audience. The simple interface of this web application allows anyone to volunteer information without being a GIS expert. As a citizen familiar with the surroundings, I'll sketch out a slightly different area that I think needs to be protected based on my local knowledge. These are just some of the improvements we're working on to make editing simpler and more productive for all users, from the GIS professional using ArcGIS Desktop to a wide audience using focused web applications built using ArcGIS Server. <laughs>